My name is Thea Nicholas, and I'm an actor, singer, content creator, and a student. Um, I grew up in the Boston area, and my mom was a single mom, and I have two sisters, so I grew up primarily around women, which I'm so thankful for because I was raised with this idea that I could do anything and I could be anything, um, and I think that really helped to shape me. But also, I have to give my dad some credit for a lot of cultural influences, like art and music. My dream is to just always be creating art and hopefully have a platform where I can promote things that are important to me, like sustainability and energy, spirituality. Um, but more specifically, I want to be a film actor and a singer. So for a long time, I was definitely ignorant to sustainability and the necessity of it, the importance of it. Um, and over the past few years, it's kind of just hit me in waves of how important it is. And so I try to implement sustainability into my everyday life just by making small changes. Like I have started thrifting 99% of the clothes I wear and the other 1% I buy from sustainable brands. I use like a bamboo toothbrush and I always have reusable bags and utensils on me so I'm not relying on single-use plastic throughout the day. My ideal unwinding situation would be to come home, put on a Barbra Streisand record, make myself a cup of tea, dance around and sing to my heart's content. But I've also recently been introduced to body tapping, so that's something I'm trying to implement more into my life, which is really cool. It's this whole world that I'm just discovering. And things like journaling are really important for me just to kind of get it all out and unwind. And um, I like having creative outlets. In five years, I see myself most likely still living in New York, probably out auditioning a lot, hopefully still making content online, and hopefully like very sure of who I am and very secure in my identity. I'm very impressionable, so I, that's something I'm working on about myself is I want to be like unwavering and just like know who I am and be a badass. Um, and yeah, and hopefully traveling a lot also, I love traveling. Okay, it's a very corny answer, but I'm gonna say my mom. Um, but this is something like I've learned as I've gotten older, how incredible my mom is. She, like I said, she raised three girls on her own and was working a full-time job and somehow just like managed to keep it all together always. And she received a lot of criticism from other moms because we grew up in a small town and people were not nice to her for being a single mom. And I didn't even know any of this was going on as a kid because she was so dedicated to making sure that all of her girls were happy and thriving and doing things they love to do. And she always put us first. And it's only as I've gotten older that I've realized just how insane it is that she did all of that. So definitely my mom. If I could give my younger self a tip, it would definitely be to listen to your gut because it's generally always right and listen to your body because it knows you and it knows when you're in a situation that's compromising who you are yeah just hold on to yourself as tight as you can because it gets really easy to lose yourself in other people and at the end of the day you are your own home and that's the place where you can be the freest um, I feel the best when I'm wearing like light wash, baggy, wide leg jeans. Um, any top with puffy sleeves, that's like the best. And then any shoe with a square toe and a little heel or like a pair of dad sneakers. So like something an old woman would wear, but also maybe like a little girl from the 50s. I don't really have a favorite podcast, but I've been very into self-help books and audiobooks. So I love Big Magic, that's one of my favorites, and I've recently started the 10-day challenge to, live to, to being your true self. 
so anything that like really promotes just being authentic to who you are, i'm all about and i'm always taking recommendations, so i'd love to hear podcast recommendations too.